Hey everyone, my name is Katie O'Shea and today I am going to be doing the summer reads or summer reading tag. This is an old tag that was originally done by Kit Kats Can Read and I saw Jill Plus Books do it the other uh, week and I figured now that it's getting a lot warmer here in Georgia at least and it's almost summer, kind of, um, <laughs> I would do this tag to kind of talk about some sunshine. I will put a link down below to both of their videos so that you can check them out and check out the original tag for sure and then come back here and watch this one. The first question is, it's morning and a hint of sunshine is in the sky. What book has had a great start for you? And the book I chose for this one is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And um, kind of the start is all that I have read so far, actually. Um, we had this one for a book club, and I started it but didn't get to finish it. But not because the beginning wasn't amazing. As soon as I picked this up, I realized really quickly what a different style of writing it's in. And I don't think this will be a spoiler to say that I believe death narrates the whole thing. So it was kind of like, who does that? What a unique start to a book. So this one definitely had a great start for me. Question number two. You go outside with a good book in hand. What book do you choose? I've mentioned this in another video, but I choose This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith just because if I had to carry around any book with me, it would probably be this because it's so yellow and yellow is one of my favorite colors and it's just so happy and it's all about that. So yeah, if I had to go outside and just be in the sunshine with a good book in the summer, I think it would be this one. Question three. You decide to fetch an ice cream to cool down. Name a chilled out slash cool read. I had a lot of trouble with this one because I feel like a lot of the books that I read are very fast paced and kind of have me on the edge of my seat while I'm reading. So definitely was harder to find kind of like a mellow, chilled out book. So eventually I chose Walden and Civil Disobedience by Henry David Thoreau. And I read this one a couple of years ago, but you know, it's kind of like peaceful, outdoor, chill, let's think about nature and reflect book. And for me, Honestly, almost a little too chill, maybe a little bit boring at times, though I probably should just reread it, and I mean, it's definitely a really interesting book. I've, like, tabbed it up with, like, things that I loved about it, and there's some amazing quotes and a lot of things that really make you think, but definitely not, like, a thriller or anything like that, which is obviously not the intention. So, this would be my chill out book. Question number four. The sun gets trapped behind a cloud. How annoying. What book has annoyed you recently? And for me, I am currently reading this book, Panic, by Lauren Oliver. And before you judge, it's actually not the book really that's annoyed me, but the font. Like, the type set of the book. I don't know what it is about it, but it really, really annoys me. Um, I've never really noticed that in a book before. Usually, like... It will be fine, I will just read it, but this one, something about the font almost impedes my reading and enjoyment of the book. So that's been the only thing. The story so far is great. I'm still reading it for the book explosion, um, read along, um, but yeah, that was the one thing that that font really bothers me. Question five. It's later in the day and the sun has moved. Time to relocate. What book has moved you? This book, Two Boys Kissing by David Levithan really all of his books, um, but I don't really have them all on my shelf right now. They're at my other house, and yeah, this book is incredible. Um, I almost chose um, Boy Meets Boy, but this is kind of like the more recent take, uh, so I ended up choosing this one, but it's such a moving book and so beautifully written, just like all of his things, and I cannot pick up a David Levithan book without being moved by it. So that's why he's my favorite author, and I highly recommend this book. The last question is, the day is almost over and it's been fantastic. Till the end. What book has amazed you to the finish? 
And that would definitely be The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. This book I had heard so much about and everyone was just raving and raving about it, but I was really hesitant to pick it up, honestly, because I was thinking, I'm not into books about aliens, and so I kind of had that wall up about it, but then once I picked it up, it was incredible. This is one of my favorite books, and it was such a different take on it, and it really just had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. Like, from start to finish, I was like, what is happening? This is all crazy. So definitely action-packed, very suspenseful, and kept me loving it all the way through the end, and I can't wait to read the next ones in the series, but also it kind of stands alone really well, so um, that's a really good thing about this book. So that's it for the Summer Reads tag. I can't wait for summer to be here, and we can just read all these wonderful summer books in warm weather outside. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up for summer coming, and also leave me a comment below letting me know what your favorite summer reads are because I would love to add some more summery kind of books um, to my t TBR. And hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this. I would really appreciate it. And I think that's all for now, guys. I'll see you later. Bye.